ever worry when you're out driving your modded Tacoma around? I do. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So I'm curious. You may find I'm curious a lot. But I'm particularly curious about this today um, because I actually drove by a peace officer and it crossed my mind. So what I'm curious about is, do you ever worry when you're out driving your modded Tacoma around? Now, what I'm talking about specifically, and I don't mean, you know, parking it in a parking lot, people messing with it or taking something off of it or leaving it parked overnight somewhere and people screwing with it or anything like that. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about things on the truck that might not be exactly up to code or specifically illegal. Now, let me give you some examples. You know, my truck is arguably probably not exactly uh, illegal and we'll start off with the tires of course my tires do poke out I've got some wheel poke on my setup intentionally I wanted it that way because I like it that way so my tires stick out about maybe an inch and a half or so something like that outside of the wheel wells and I know in a lot of places, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest, here in Texas, in South Texas, but I do know in a lot of municipalities, you can't have your tires sticking out away from the fender wells. And there's good reason for that. You know, I really don't have a problem with it being that way. And the reason is, is to keep junk, stones and stuff from flying outside of the wheel well onto your neighbors, your people behind you, right? So I understand why that is. I don't know that I agree that just having a tire stick out about an inch, inch and a half makes that much difference because things are gonna pop out from under the tires anyway. Even if you have mud flaps back there, which by the way, I'm not a big fan of either. So I understand why, but nonetheless, my truck isn't exactly legal when it comes to that. Next up is the window tent. You know, I always go less than legal when it comes to the window tent. I have 20% on my front windows right now. Legal in my area would be 36%, I believe it is. So I'm well below the threshold. But I think if you're gonna tent your windows, you know, it has to be evident. It has to be substantial, enough to spend the money to do it. You know, if you're gonna put something on that really does little to nothing, then why waste your money and why bother? And there are a couple of reasons why I do it. One, I love the look of it. I think that this level looks awesome on the truck and also matches the factory rear windows, which come tinted, by the way, as close as you can get. The sun, I have rather sensitive eyes. I've been blessed with sensitive eyes. I've had a detached retina, not detached, but torn retina, in my left eye. And of course, that's the side that the sun is gonna beat in on. That eye for me is even more sensitive to bright light. So there is a little bit of a medical reason, I suppose, although I don't have any kind of medical exemption or anything. I probably could if I you know, took the time to go to see a doctor about it or something, who knows. Uh, but it does serve that purpose for me. Also keeps the truck a little bit cooler, when you live in South Texas like I do, where it's, you know, eight, nine 900,000 degrees every, all the day, every day, uh, it helps keep things a little bit cooler in the truck. And it also protects the interior a bit from the fading properties of the sun to keep those rays out, right? Makes you cooler when you're driving around, makes the truck cooler. I mean, there's all kinds of benefits to having a, a deeper tent, but it's not legal. The last thing is, the tail lights. <laughs> you know, I went with a pretty darn heavily smoked tail light on the back of this truck, and I love it. I love the way that it looks. I think it really sets off the back of the truck, blends in well with the truck, and I think it looks really good. It also 
eliminates the chrome that comes inside of the factory versions, right? Now you have to have some kind of chrome in those, obviously, something reflective. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose. Now, like the tires, there's obviously a reason why. And that reason is visibility. Not so much at night. I don't think it really matters much at night because when it's dark, obviously, when you have a light flashing or a brake light going on, you're gonna be able to see that pretty darn well. But in bright sunlight, and I'll give you an example, you know, if the, if the sun is behind me, beaming down on the back of my truck, it makes it more difficult to see when those lights light up. For instance, if I'm braking or I'm turning, or maybe even have my four ways on for some reason. Maybe I'm sitting somewhere because something happened and I'm running the four way lights. Be kind of difficult to see if the sun is beaming down on the back of the truck. So, you know, there are three things that, uh, that I'm running on this truck right now that aren't really up to code or legal as far as uh, vehicles go. So I mentioned in the beginning that, you know, out in my travels today, I drove past a police officer who was sitting off to the right of me. And then there was no traffic behind me. He was in the turn lane, could have turned right, and then he would have been right behind me. So he'd have had a great view of my dark tail lights, my tires that are poking out, and uh, of course the, the windows when I drove past him. So there would have been three reasons right there why he could have nailed me. Now I do believe that in most cases, unless you are just absurdly violating uh, the law that the cops aren't gonna pull you over for something like that. I really don't think that's gonna happen. And I think in most cases, you probably have nothing to worry about. But the point that you do have something to worry about is should you get pulled over for some other violation like speeding, running a red light, uh, not signaling, things like that. And I think in that case, if you get pulled over, I think they're gonna throw the book at you depending on what kind of day they're having, right? Hopefully it's just in the form of a warning. I have heard stories, and you know, this I think is absurd, but I've heard stories of the police demanding that you remove the tent on your windows while they have you pulled over. Now, unless you have a razor blade with you or some kind of tool, I'm not e exactly sure how you could even do that. You know, I don't think it's probably possible. I, I don't think your fingernail is probably, unless you have long fingernails, enough to get there and start peeling that tent off. And what a nightmare that would be. Hopefully those are just urban legends, but uh, I have heard it many times, so I'm thinking it does happen. Anyway, I, I just wanted to get on as I was driving around and, and relate that to you guys. Do you ever worry when you're out driving around in your modded Tacoma? Maybe you've got a couple of things on there that aren't exactly illegal. I'd be curious to know. Leave a comment. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.